Oh, she's coming. I don't see that ahead of me. Come on. Here I am hanging out with Donald Trump. What do you have to say for yourself? I guess he doesn't have anything to say. But if we come over here, I've also got my friend Hillary, our future president of the United States of America. I indulged in, bought a pin. It says Bill Clinton for first gentleman. <laughs> So now we're just sitting here, right below the monument. Everyone is sweaty and gross from the humidity. Yeah. Which we're not used to. There's no humidity where we're from. But yeah, we're just here in the heart of DC. White House is that way. Um, we think Obama took off at Marine One while we were standing there, and then he just left. But you know, that's cool. Because, you know, Marine One just took off and then it was flanked by like three other helicopters. So now we're just sitting here. Um, the ACP convention doesn't start until 3 p.m. for those of us in special pre-convention workshops. And the actual sessions start tomorrow. So we still got a few hours to kill and then the serious work begins. But we're enjoying the morning. Alright, we made it to the actual base of the Washington Monument. I'm going back to rejoin Hannah and Katie because they were over taking pictures of the Capitol building. It's pretty impressive up close. I mean, it's a lot bigger than I thought the Washington Monument was. But yeah, we're here on the National Mall. The Capitol's right over there. It's pretty awesome. It's, it's kind of rough. <laughs> I just touched the Washington. This one's smooth. Just touched the Washington. This one's really smooth. The wind up here feels so good. It's so humid here. I know. It's like this is. I just want to stay here. This one feels so good. I've only experienced humidity in Hawaii, and it was much better than this. Yeah. Yeah. This is. This is bad. You couldn't really breathe in Hawaii, but it just felt pure, and here it doesn't feel right, pure. Like That's how big it really is. <laughs> Here's us. Yeah. There's the top. It. Right, heading towards the Lincoln Memorial now. now at the Lincoln Memorial. There it is. We're gonna try to get pretty close up to it, maybe inside. Hello. 
Well, never thought I'd actually be walking up to the Lincoln oh Memorial goodness. ever in my life. Oh, oh, lots of steps. Lots of stairs. Now that's a view. That is incredible. We're walking in. Really excited about this. Never thought I'd be in here. I didn't think it was actually open to the public. This might be the coolest trip ever. Would you agree? I would. I feel disgusting. I am disgusting, but I'm happy. Yeah, we're so sweaty now, but, but this is okay, there's awesome. Okay, you want to go check out that one. got done with our pre-convention workshops with Kenna Griffin. She's amazing. And we got, it's like a, a few hours, you know. It's pretty good. And Mark Witherspoon is also great. <laughs> spoon? Yeah, Spoon. That's his nickname. You Okay. It's worth that point. She just has a cell phone number. Um, but now we're waiting for the keynote to start. Um, <laughs> resistant and make it hard. Uh, you or are you talking within the party about planning for that? You, you have two questions. Uh, and also, my second one you said uh, the best thing today or right now is the best thing that's happened to you today. I just wondered what else happened to you today. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the state Hornet, Sacramento State University. Sacramento State, great college. Uh, first of all, I, I, John McCain, I thought that was outrageous. You know, once again, we have not even voted. I mean, some of you have voted. I know there's early voting going on in a lot of states, and thank you for early voting. But the, the vast majority of Americans have not voted. And yet John McCain is already proclaiming that uh, he's not going to allow the next president, if it's her, to do her job. Well, Senator McCain, you're being paid over $174,000 a year. If you don't want to do your job, then why don't you drop out? Don't come back to Washington. It's outrageous. We need a Supreme Court that, is, that can function. Um, look, a typical day is I get up around uh, 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning and I read as many newspapers as I possibly can online. By 6 o'clock, I turn on you know, CNN, Morning Jordan, and capture as much local and national news as I possibly can. Uh, by seven o'clock, I want coffee because I've been up and my dog, and I don't feel like it feel as though that it's time for him to have water, which means he wants to go outside. Uh, and then I'm at the headquarters uh, soon after and I work until 11, 12 at night. I'm averaging about four or five hours of sleep um, and I have to make a lot of tough decisions. And I also have to take responsibility every time something goes bad. So when you read the story that the uh, bus, one of the Democratic Party buses, uh, stopped along the side of the road in uh, Gwinnett County, Georgia, and uh, proceeded to uh, 
eliminate some of the waste. I had to issue an apology and get it paid for to, to, to remove the waste. First of all, you're going to have to transition from President Obama. And part one of what she has to do is to make sure all of the, what I call, all of the leftovers are taken care of. That's the Supreme Court, uh, that's raising the debt ceiling, that's all the boring stuff that you all don't like to see here in Washington, D.C. Making sure the government continue to function, et cetera, et cetera. She has to bring, she has to put in place a new cabinet, a new administration. How will she treat Republicans? How will she, uh, 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 you know, go about uh, uh, building a, a better, uh, not just political party, but a party that reaches out to all Americans? Uh, I also think that she got to start thinking about issues, renewable energy, uh, criminal justice reform. Some of the issues that have gotten short shifted through our political discourse, she also has to raise those issues. We just finished the opening keynote address here at the ACP conference. Uh, Donna Brazil is like my favorite person now. <laughs> yeah, it's been really funny, really awesome. And she answered questions. She can dodge around. She was just. Like, can she just run for president? Because I would vote for her. <laughs> yeah, a, a highlight of the day so far. We did a lot of cool stuff today. But oh, just coming up. I feel like we're in a press pool mob. Jazzed. <laughs> You're jazz. I'm jazzed. Uh, that was the best opening keynote. Oh my god. Best keynote I've ever been to. Okay, LA was yeah. so boring compared to that. Like this, she was relevant. She was good. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Oh, this is crazy. All right, so we're gonna head upstairs, and then we have a few minutes before our dinner reservations at 7:30 at some uh, restaurant yeah. up the road. So, oh, look at the mess here at the escalators.